Perhaps the most celebrated Cherokee war chief of all time is Dragon Canoe. His leadership of the Chickamauga warriors filled the pages of countless histories. In this Cherokee Almanac, we learn about a prophetic speech given by Dragon Canoe, illustrating the difficult decisions our tribal leaders once faced. In March of 1775, over a thousand Cherokee people met in Sycamore Shoals at an event that would come to be known as the Henderson Purchase. Colonial land speculators were meeting with Cherokee leaders in an attempt to purchase nearly 20 million acres of Cherokee hunting grounds. Deerskin trade was in decline by the mid to late 18th century, and Cherokee people are attempting to figure out what their economy will look like moving forward. When it seemed inevitable that Cherokee leaders would accept the terms set before them, a voice of opposition stepped forward. He was a muscular individual standing six feet tall. This was Dragon Canoe, a respected warrior and the leader of the great island town. Dragon Canoe was a very fierce and passionate Cherokee man. When he was very young, he he caught smallpox, but he survived. But for the rest of his life, his face was scarred from the disease. Dragging Canoe did not mince words as he addressed the negotiators. Dragon Canoe berated the land speculators for attempting to purchase lands that white colonists had been illegally squatting on for years. He predicted that once they finally obtained these lands, the same encroaching spirit would lead them to other lands of the Cherokee. He said new sessions would be applied for, and the country which the Cherokees and our forefathers had so long occupied would be called for, until a remnant of Cherokees, a nation that had once been so great and formidable, would have to seek retreat in some far distant wilderness. Dragon Canoe asserted that the colonial lust for land would never end, that Cherokees would again behold the advancing banners of the same greedy host, who not being able to point out any further retreat would then proclaim the extinction of the whole race. Cherokee youth listened intently to Dragon Canoe's words and the land speculators began to sweat. He continued, should we not therefore run all risks and incur all consequences rather than to submit to further laceration of our country? Such treaties may be all right for men who are too old to hunt or fight. As for me, I have my young warriors about me. His words only delayed the inevitable. The deal was finalized on March 17, 1775. A Cherokee man who received a single shirt as payment lamented, we have sold the land and I could have killed more deer upon it in a day than would have bought such a shirt. The Henderson Purchase comes at a time when um, colonies are in upheaval as well because it's on the eve of the American Revolution. When the Revolutionary War broke out in 1776, Cherokee leaders remained loyal to the British crown. The Carolinas more generally and Virginia at the outbreak of the American Revolution pretty swiftly move all of their forces against Cherokees. Um, wholesale burn towns, burn corn crops, destroy villages. And so it devastates the larger community of Cherokees across, across the nation. While the majority of Cherokee leaders demanded peace, Dragon Canoe assembled a sizable following of like-minded leaders and warriors. This new batch of people that are coming together to stage a resistance are doing so along the Chickamauga River. And so as a result of, of both that kind of regional and, and, and geographic association, people came to call this group the Chickamauga Warriors. They fought all over because he didn't believe the settlers would not stop, that they would just keep coming and keep coming. So he wanted to take a stand then. And so Dragon Canoe did commit acts that were violent. It's a violent moment of resistance, of encroachment, and Dragon Canoe is wrapped up in much of that. In late February of 1792, Dragon Canoe forged an alliance with Creek and Choctaw forces, and a grand celebration was held. So they were celebrating, he was celebrating, and then when dawn came 
after they had all danced all night, he died. Dragon Canoe's uncompromising spirit continued through the warriors who fought under his leadership. God don't he? Ogi has to win. I want Kinski. 